and here we will consider passive filter so the first one is low pass filter and the second one is uh, notch filter so I have written these equations so I will just overview them so first one is low pass filter low pass filter uh, only allows uh, low frequencies to pass and uh, stop high frequencies and uh, we will consider this uh, transfer function impulse function uh, and the location of poles and zeros and uh, explain so for transfer function uh, we can use KCL at node A and uh, we also have voltage difference along inductor which is nothing but voltage difference between uh, input voltage and output voltage so from circuit we get this equation and uh, after simplify simplifying these equations we get double differential equation of this so this one is our double differential equation of our parallel RLC circuit and uh, we can use uh, Laplace transformation on this equation so we will get our transfer function in the form of h of s which is this this one is our transfer function which have cut off frequency 1 upon 2 by root lc now we can find its uh, impulse response for impulse response we can use partial fraction but for that we need to modify our equation so modifying uh, our transfer function in this form here we can see that our sorry uh, denominator uh, denominator of a uh, transfer function is in the form of quadratic equation so we can uh, find its uh, root and uh, roots of uh, this quadratic equation is this and now we can use uh, impulse response on our transfer function So we will get an equation of uh, this one and uh, after using inverse Laplace transformation on this equation we get our impulse response of this one in the form of h of t where our ut is a unit unit function and uh, s1 and s2 are uh, roots of quadratic equation. for location of zeros and uh, poles on s plane here we can see uh, this one is our poles uh, which are uh, omega naught by 2 2 q uh, distance away from imaginary axis so poles are nothing but the values of s where our h of s are uh, to infinity and uh, zeros are nothing but uh, the values of s where our h of s is equal to 0 here we can see that uh, our poles are omega naught by a 2, 2 q distance away from imaginary axis and our zeros are at infinity since at uh, s equal uh, s tends to infinity our h of uh, uh, h of s tends to 0 <coughs> uh, here our q is qu quality factor now the second filter is notch filter again doing this uh, doing the same using KCL at node A here our node A is this one band stop filter is um, only allows uh, sorry band, uh, band stop filter allows all frequencies except uh, frequencies where our circuit is in resonance when circuit is in resonance uh, our lc this uh, this circuit have maximum impedance so the impedance is uh, nothing but a resistance to flow, flow of current so at uh, resonance our impedance is maximum 
so that's why uh, there is no flow of current so it's uh, stop uh, those frequencies after using kcl and kvl in this uh, on this uh, on this circuit we will get our double differential equation of this form now taking laplace transformation of this equation we get our transfer function which is h of s having cut off frequency 1 upon 2 pi root lc <coughs> and uh, omega is 1 upon root lc again for impulse re uh, impulse response of uh, this function we can use partial fraction on uh, our transfer function and uh, find quadratic roots of quad uh, sorry roots of uh, quadratic equation and uh, we get uh, we can modify our h of s uh, in this form and uh, now we can use a uh, inverse laplace transformation so we will get uh, h of t here as we can see uh, we have delta t and ut where delta t is a delta function and uh, ut is a unit function and uh, s1 and uh, s2 are roots of quadratic equation now for notch filter location of poles and uh, zeros can be derived from h of s <coughs> here as same before our poles are omega naught by 2q uh, distance away from imaginary axis but our zeros are at finite values where that value is uh, omega naught since at uh, s equal to omega naught our h of uh, h of s is equal to zero thank you